it's now four o'clock and probably we're four hours away from the uh, apocalypse part the, two. The apocalypse part two. So what we're doing now is we are going out to a what do you call this this thing we're uh, gonna be in? A, a deer blind. A deer blind. Deer blind. Deer blind. Where me and John are gonna sit and wait for uh, yeah porks to come to us, and then when they do, they're gonna meet this one. And then we're gonna have food tonight. But um, the way the way it works is we're gonna put you're gonna put deer feed yeah. on a watermelon. Watermelon. Yeah. And apparently the hog they, they they love that. They find it irresistible. But we gotta do it now. Then go back to the house. Oh, there we go. This one. See a hog? So they were all up in here the other day. So they're probably gonna come in from the sides. So where are we gonna be hiding? We'll be right there. Oh, awesome. Yes. Ooh, this is gonna be the greatest night ever. Yes, as long as the wind doesn't shift and come from behind y'all and blow it at you. We'll be fine. They'll be fine. They'll walk right in, which it's kind of blowing that way right now. But you know, you just be quick on the trigger. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. Well, that is why I was actually already locked and loaded and ready to go because he says sometimes he come out here to um, to, uh, to to put out the feed and uh, and you know they're already here ready So how does this feeder thing work? So it's got a timer on it, and it throws it for you know however many seconds I set it for at prescribed times of the morning and the evening. This one goes off at about 7:30 for like 10 or 15 seconds. And uh, usually I fit, use it for feeding deer. It's got a so the deer eat from this one most of the time. Yeah, well I mean but the hogs and the deer eat almost the exact same thing. So the hog come here to steal the deer's food. Exactly. So you're doing me a favor by shooting them. And that is. The deer food. That is why they hunt the hogs here, if I didn't mention that in yesterday's video. I probably did. Woo! Is it hot? hot. <laughs> yeah, I should have brought the shoes. Huh. I'm just gonna have to sit back here and watch you guys do the work. Huh. Now this van here is quite quite handy. It's got my no, that's not the machete. Is this a machete? Yeah. That's a... Uh... Indian or African knife, I think. Oh, it's a it's a Gurkha knife, isn't That's it? That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna this go. So hopefully tonight, or in about uh, four hours' time, a family of thieving conniving, scheming porcupines are gonna come here to steal their food. And... It's actually good, yeah. It's a good one? It's a waste of really good watermelon, but yeah. And as they come here to steal the deer's food, me and John, as you probably already know, because that was the start of this video, we're gonna be hunkered down in this thing. It is so hot. I'm gonna bring shoes when I come here tonight. This is... Whew, so, at the start of the video, I assume it was kind of dark and you didn't see much. Well, this is what we are inside. It is, ooh, hi. I am burning up. It's not easy to, okay, I think it's, how do we open this? Okay, any rattlesnakes? Uh, nope, I guess we're gonna be sitting like this then in our little oh you got no chance from from over there nah, man. you better run guys that's like 35 or 40 yard shot <sighs> amazing now these are hot as a mother effer and the reason why they're so hot is that they are meant to not really have much air come through here because apparently 
These porcupines, well they're not porcupines, they're hogs, they have the best sense of smell of any animal out here. So if the wind is coming from here, as TJ said, we are going to, we're not going to, you know, they're going to run away. So let's get, uh, let's get back and leave this, um, this food out here. And hopefully they take the bait. In the meantime, I think we're going to go and have a, go and have a Mexican food, tacos. Maybe I'll roll some footage from earlier today. We were blowing stuff up in TJ's backyard. It is so hot. You ready? Yeah, so it's a good trap now? Yeah, we're set. We're set? We're set, man. Okay, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. They take it now. Hold on, I'll be back. I should have brought shoes. I'm sorry, man. I didn't think it was going to be that hot. <laughs> ah. Ah. All right, I'm on pork watch again. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Have a little look. Well, we'll look around, yeah. There might be some on the next property. Okay. He says uh, sometimes there are some at the property yeah. next door, so we're gonna go and have a little look, see if we can find some. So this is your land on that side of the fence? Yeah, well, this too. This too, uh, this too is as well. New land. Ah, okay. Yeah. another stake out. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the ones that was on the property when I got it. So if we do see them, they're going to be like bedded down, like in the shade, they'll jump up and they'll just, they're not going to run fast, they're just going to kind of trot away from us. So if we see them, okay. open fire. Yeah. If we see them, I'll hand the, the camera to you, Serge, okay? Same places. Yeah, as much as they can. I can't put you there with Skyler. Rip him off in the bushes. You probably can. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're gonna follow the same pattern. Skyler, you want to go through the bush there? Yes. Yeah, he says yes. Is it too crazy? It's too. I guess narrow through there. This ranger doesn't fit. It's a, ah, okay, it's okay. Four wheeler trail. Oh, I see. And this thing's too big. time do they usually come out when it when it's a uh, I mean, cool right down now, and it's when dark? it's hot like this you know sometime between like nine o'clock at night and like midnight somewhere in there so they like it when it's dark because it's cooler or because it's yeah, dark well, they, and don't, they, they don't see very good periods so they're they're kind of primarily nocturnal they like it when it's cool they can see probably a little bit better at dark than they can in the daytime anyway and you know, uh, they just feel safer at night time. They're black, they work under the cover of the dark. Uh, but yeah, right now it's the temperature thing more than anything. Like the deer, the, uh, the hogs, like pretty much everything except for the birds isn't moving until the sun goes down right now because it's like 100 degrees out. That's why it looks so dead here. Yeah. I was so surprised from the area yesterday at the animal life here. It was insane. Yeah. So many, you know, you call them. Uh, yeah, deers and, and coyotes, and we yeah. didn't see any coyotes, but there's so many the animals just... stuff can live in somewhere that's just hot in this area. Yeah, and you, you don't really see it unless you're kind of up in a helicopter from the air. Yeah, see, that was I filled that up last week, and they've already drank all that water. The deer? The deer, the hogs, the raccoons, the squirrels. That's why I put that little uh, ladder in there. 
because the raccoons and the squirrels will fall in there and if they, they can't get out the ground. But there's no like water on the ground anywhere right now. So yeah, you so you have to supplemental water or else they'll die. Or they'll wander off until they find somewhere else and then they won't come back here. So to keep the animals around here, I, I put food and water out year round. sign right here. See Where? It's all turned up, all that dirt. Oh, this. There's something in there. I think it's some kind of mineral or some kind of ant pile or something that's growing in there, but they turned all that up after the last rain. Uh, trying to eat something. So then you know they've been here recently, like yeah, today right. so or within a couple of days? It, it's easiest to tell after a rain when they've been through there because of tracks and because they'll turn up the dirt, you can see it. Uh, when it's dry like this, it's kind of hard to tell because a, even a light breeze will blow the tracks away. So it, it, it's easier when the ground's moist to tell when they've been around. This is another site right here with another deer blind, but I haven't been baiting this one in a while. I've been kind of just feeding that one just because it's easier. You see, that was full of cotton seed. They ate all of that. It's gone. This one? Yeah. Uh, this is where Brandy hunts most of the time. So why do you... Up in that tree there, you see, she sits oh, in that tree. Oh, she likes tree. to sit up there. Wow, she what a spot. Here. See where they turned it down over right there? Yeah. On the dirt. It's been a while, it looks like, but yeah, she shoots them from up there. They come in from right over here. So the reason you feed the deer is because you wanna you wanna hunt them on your property. Yeah, well, I mean, yes, ultimately that's the main reason. But I, I this time of year I'm feeding them so that they'll be healthy. Like for two reasons: the, the bucks are growing, they're growing their horns back, they're putting on weight that they're gonna need to fight in the winter time and not die. And then uh, all of the the does they all had fawn here this this last month. And so it's like a woman breastfeeding, you know, they need to eat extra nutrition so that the baby can get something too, or else both of them will starve to death. So I put out uh, minerals, protein, water, everything that they kind of need so that they have a balanced diet so that the next generation of deer grows up without starving to death first. If they get too weak from being hungry, then, you know, the coyotes are gonna eat them, the buzzards are gonna get them. We're just not gonna make it. Suddenly you don't have any deer anymore yeah, on your property. Deer, yeah. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. The hat blew up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Woo. Thought I lost my hat there. Actually, not my hat, I'm borrowing it. Because the American flag looks so cool on video. How many hours you reckon, we, do we have to go there while the sun is still up and then yeah, kind of go into probably, hiding? I would probably walk back there about 6.30, maybe no later than 7, because uh, they're used to that feeder going off somewhere around 7.30, I think, is when it's set for. So, um, oh, so like they, said, they, the animals even know the time. They actually have they can, a rhythm that they know the time frame, but then they also, they can hear it too. It makes a lot of noise when it goes off. It's like a, you know, it spins and all that corn hits that metal and it makes a really loud rattling noise uh -huh. and they'll hear that from way off and come running. So who do you reckon will be there first? The hogs or Probably the deer? The, the, deer. Deer, the deer will beat them there but when the hogs come in the deer will leave because the hogs will run them off they get territorial they start grunting and snorting and, and the deer don't want nothing. So to the hogs kind of they're, they're they the, run, the alpha yeah, out there compared to the deer. The, the deer. the hogs will actually eat the baby deer if they can catch them. Wow. They'll eat the fawn. Yeah, they're, they're omnivores. They'll eat meat. They'll eat rotten stuff. They'll eat other dead hogs. I mean, they're, oh. they're disgusting. Welcome back. We are starving because yesterday we had absolutely zero pork. Now no pork o clock. I blame you. Um, I don't know why, but I do. Well, I will avenge the blaming and we will have pork o clock tonight. Okay. It is pork o clock. Today. We are going to try and accomplish what we couldn't do yesterday, and that is to actually 
eat one of these wild pigs that live out here on these uh, private Texas farms. So four hours ago, we came out here, me and uh, me and Serge, and we put some corn in a what was it called? A uh, deer catcher. A deer feeder. Deer yeah. Feeder, yeah. Um, that's why these hogs are such a plague here because they come and eat the food that's meant to be for the deers. So got to keep it down. And uh, yeah, there we are. I think yeah. In a couple of minutes, we're gonna set up shop uh, close to where we put the feed a few hours ago. Wish us luck. of the wind before we came here. Now, if it was blowing from us and over there, we would have been screwed. But it's, it's blowing from, from east across, so they'll be fine. They won't smell us. Now, how long are we gonna have to be in here? I don't know. Could be hours. Yeah. How are you gonna cope without cigarettes? I'm just gonna have to fight through it. No cigarettes at all. Maybe this is where I quit. Maybe pork o'clock is greater than cigarettes. Yeah, it is. Way better. So we're just gonna sit there and listen. So this this feeder, what time does it go off? 7.30. 7.30. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Okay. So in nine minutes, this deer feeder is going to kick off. And the animals know that. Don't ask me how. I guess maybe they know it's pork o'clock too. 7.30. So I'll keep the camera rest.
heater should be going off any minute now. Now, we practice how we're gonna do this because if one of us fires the pigs, if there's many or the one picked, it's gonna take off running right away. So we're gonna count to three and all shoot on three. Peter has not gone off. We just saw a deer wander by on my side here.
enough, but it, all of us basically just thought it was an explosion. Okay, maybe now we get some action. There we go, there's the light. The green light just turned on. Motion turns. Probably been there an hour and a half now. I am being annihilated by mosquitoes. It's 10 o'clock, I don't think they're coming, so we're gonna do a little walk around and see what we can find. Nobody. I don't know, so I have no idea why the pigs are not here and eating. Um, but they haven't touched it. Only birds. I think they were scared of pork o'clock. Maybe. And for the right reason. Yep, I'd be scared of pork o'clock too. Obviously the chances of like finding anything when we're walking like this is basically next to none, but at least we're having some fun. See, that's a game trail right there. Yeah? Yeah. You see this trail, that's where the deer and the pigs are coming. Call the bumblebee a bitch ass motherfucker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's gangster. <laughs> that bumblebee you sure showed him. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's where we drove today. We went left or right? We went left and right. We did everything. This is Kingston, right? Two, three, was it two? It was four. Was it four? Yeah. It's funny that the deer come, but not the, the hogs. And TJ said the hogs have a better sense of smell, and they're mm -hmm. smarter. Hey, don't get us lost. Hell no. Let's go for it. It's not no. the kind of place, because other people are hunting too. It's not the kind of place you want to get No, no, this is his personal property. Yeah, but we crossed the fence. Oh yeah, we did cross that fence. Listen, let's listen. Revenge. Yeah. yeah, maybe he has a brother. That's a big open field. Oh shit, this is a big open field. This is like where you would see him. Was he filming? Oh, yes he was. Awesome. Good man. If we don't turn back, we're definitely going to be lost. Yeah. I'm already lost and I have a pretty good sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know my way back. Alright. We're giving up? Yeah. Well, Okay. You're gonna get yourself lost, guy. Huh? We're in the middle of the night. I know. It's this way now. Okay. It's all the way lost. I'll leave my back in the back. Are you sober? <laughs> I think he is. Yeah, it's not looking right pocket. It's not where we came from, though. This isn't where we came from. No. We came from nowhere. He thinks we came we from here. a different here. path. Not so. You just said it was taking so a different path. we came from here. Well. Yeah. Left, right, left. Yeah. Now, if you see these branches? Uh-huh. The, their antlers almost imitate these branches of these types of trees. You're right. So when they're walking through here, you can't really tell that that's a big old book. Listen, listen.
Yeah, yeah, but this isn't the way we it's, came. It's a fence. fence yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tried the light on me. <laughs> I'm not joking, we are royally fucked. We are lost. <laughs> Serge, just like when he said he's sober, he doesn't know what direction we're going. You know, uh, <laughs> normally Skylar can. You'll know better than that. Oh, it might be this way. Listen, Serge, you have no idea where we're going. <laughs> Look at him with his gun, nine millimeter flashlight. Oh yeah, this is it. No, it's not. I always remember that log in the way. This is not the way. No. You can just walk all the way back. What do y'all want to do? Go the other way? Or keep walking this way? Why don't path? you look at your phone? Huh? Look at your phone. <laughs> There's no show. There's no reception there. It's not going to tell us the right path to get back, though. No. Maybe it'll tell us which direction. <laughs> <laughs> We are fucked. Okay. Okay, and where's Hooker? Right there. That's so, my car. Get us that way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me get on my path this time. Hell no, this ain't fun. You have no idea where we're going. Why are you walking back where we just got? Trust in search. He said that the hogs love trails like this, TJ. He said they'll go on the same, you know, trails again and again. He doesn't know why, but... Hold on, let's look down here. Isn't this kind of where we came from? I have no idea. I well, reckon it's a better path than what Serge is going on. Well, let's see. You know what, let's just get back to this open field. We get back to the open field, we'll figure it out. No, that's where we... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, come here, look at us. <laughs> Why are we going to the right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a good enough answer. <laughs> Why are we going right? Yes. Exactly the answer I wanted. <laughs> just going back to the path we just walked, which was wrong. I wish that speed could go off and then we could go up follow the sound. How funny would it be if we actually find the feeder again? And all the water model metal is gone. Oh, that would Pink suck so everywhere. bad. Seen for the bushlands here. Eh? Fucking bugs. It is a trailer. A broken trailer. Ugh, fucking bugs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just go. I'm pretty sure you oh, don't know where we are. Just split up. <laughs>
fuck no. Let's you know what? Up. That's how people get. Man, yeah, yeah, this is a. Uh, uh, I don't guns. like this at all. Let's split up. We can cover more ground. <laughs> Look, if I, I was, I would just grab someone. Skyler's phone <laughs> and just walk directly in the direction of the car. I say we need to sacrifice someone. Yeah. I mean, why the hell are we walking around? You got GPS on your phone. It's not. It doesn't. For the woods, it doesn't work. <laughs> just keep walking that direction. Find a trail and keep walking that direction. So it says it's we're straight ahead. That way, right? Yes. Well, let's turn it on. Look, I'm tired. I'm <laughs> trying to be lost walking around in the damn woods, not knowing where the hell we're at. With guns. <laughs> and no hog, no pork or clock. Me laugh and feel happy about this. We have guns. Okay. What happened? Yeah, that would be worried. He's led us to like some big wall or like river, dried out creek. Yeah. Okay, let's follow the creek. Yeah, this is to the right. All right. Is it? Okay, let's keep going. That let's way. walk. We're we going up here. Well, there's the fence. We, follow, we might be able to follow this thing. Right? Yeah. Ooh. We can just go right at the end. Okay. Yeah. No. Let's oh, follow. Let's, let's go through this uh, snake territory. We're this creek here. Where no man ever walks. So the snakes <laughs> kind of just like mingle and hang here. Yeah. Well, watch out for the cobra. Creeper cobra? What's that? That's that, that dog thing that's on the that barbecue mix. Oh, no. We keep seeing <laughs> The mythical Mexican creature. Yeah, the mythical Mexican creature. Look at I would not dare to walk here alone. This is not. <laughs> you think look at his path he found. <laughs> I don't feel like walking that way. Yes, I'll do. Or maybe... What? I just want to say something. You point the flashlight at me. I'd like to say that Serge is as good a intoxicated driver as he's a sober pathfinder. You never got to see my sober. <laughs> How close are what is your phone saying now? We're getting closer? Okay guys, whilst we're in this maze here trying to get out. I mean, this is, hmm, it's not time to get worried yet, but all right, somewhat worried. Were you, John? Uh, no, but I just, I, I want to find the path. We need to quit fucking around all right. and just walk toward Since the car. We didn't kill anything or shoot any pigs. Let's roll some footage from when we were blowing shit up earlier today. <sighs> roll tape. So this is how you make the tannerite. You mix the catalyst with this white thing yeah which, these are the, the which is the tannerite the i guess beads, yeah and then shake it and yeah like it's as, as dangerous as it is with a bullet it won't blow up like that at all i mean i could do anything i wanted to i could throw that in a fire it wouldn't do anything only a bullet is going to set only that a bullet's off. going to set it off you just mix it around we'll put it back in here and then that's what harold is going to aim at that orange right there and hopefully hit and we're going to blow the lid off of my doghouse looking forward to it Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think so, babe? All right, the mix is ready. Let's, uh, what do you think is going to happen to the doghouse? I'm hoping that the lid blows like straight up, like a rocket. Like Jeff Bezos. You can't see that. Like that? Yeah, we'll just... At the farther in there we push it, probably the better reaction we're going to have. Maybe set it up like this. Look, here. We'll set it on this. Yeah. Let's do it. So in like that. Yeah, let's see if we can even see it like that. Yeah, you'll be able to see it. Okay. I'd not recommend sitting there. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna put the phone there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking, John. If John's gonna sit there, then I'm not shooting. Yeah? Are you gonna be behind the tree? <laughs> that way You're I cameraman, can hide you gotta the be tree, on the yeah. side. <laughs> I'll be right here. Oh, okay. You gotta be like kind of here. Yeah. 
All right, there's one in the chamber, Harold. You just got to take it off safety. Oh, all right. And I sh you think I should... Oh, man, I can just, hardly see it. Just okay. hide behind the corn sacks. See what it looks like through the target, through the... Um... What, you're saying we should just duck behind? we will be safe. Just the corn sacks and duck down right after you shoot. Duck down after I shoot? Yeah, behind the... You'll be fine. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> you guys ready for this? We are ready. You ready? videoing this bird here. Hold up, hold up. So we'll duck in down. <laughs> <Are> you... <laughs> you. you go a little further back, then we yeah, like that. Yeah, I guess we can see the. Do you capture the whole thing from there? I think like so. that. Okay, I think you'd have it. Yeah. Ready? Fire in the hole. Jesus. That's loud. That was loud as fuck. Is there more bullets in there? Yeah. There's fuck. Still, yeah, there's still two or three more in there. Oh, okay, okay. Was he high or low? I don't know. I can't see. It just didn't hit it. Okay, I didn't hit it at all? No. no. I would have blown up if you did. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I hit in that thing, for yeah. sure. Looks like you were a little bit high, maybe. Woo! Almost. Hold on, I don't see the tanner. I, I hit it, definitely. I yeah, you did hit it. Yeah. It didn't blow. Safety. safety. Got it on safe? Yeah, yeah. safety. Okay, you set it down. Yeah. Watch out, Hook. Watch out, there's what? It can't blow up, man. It can't blow up. Whew. <laughs> we all worried. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried as fuck. <laughs> you all hiding behind cars and stuff. <laughs> I was ducking behind the table. Oh, man. Maybe you hit the lid. Oh, you have the concrete right underneath it. Ooh. We need a better aim, I think. I think you're gonna have to give it a go. <laughs> you're gonna have to give it a go. <laughs> Man, look how brave TJ is. He just shot at that thing and he's over there grabbing it. That's brave. Or stupid. I don't know. <laughs> look, even the dogs out there hiding behind the. <laughs> oh man. The dog's like, what are these humans doing? And the doing? black dog's not scared. I, I, I took him skeet, shun, skeet uh, shooting with my friends and I when he was. I'm gonna have to change because my ears are ringing now. And these are not so. And never heard a gun go off and he ran out and picked up skeet for us and brought it back to us. I don't really awesome. hear what anyone's saying awesome. anyway. Are we filming? Yeah. All right. Ready to go, bud. Yeah, you shot that just underneath it. You hit that concrete that we set it on. Oh no. We need someone with a better aim. I'll take the shot. <laughs> Actually, Skylar, you want to take the shot? Yeah, Skylar, you want to You've been pretty good. <laughs> right. Tell us before you go live. I will. Okay. Off safety. In three, two, one. Miss. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, now it's going to do damage. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That was awesome. All right. That was crazy. That was awesome. That was about Wait, yeah, I recorded all that too on my phone. Pretty close too. <laughs> Oh yeah, good thing we didn't hit the phone. Oh. oh yeah, what if we shot my phone? <sighs> Dude, there's chunks all the way up. We'll help him pick it up. Yeah. It's probably hot, dude. Be careful. Hey, see what that looks like over here. Where the hell did I hit it then? You hit the thing underneath. Well, that phone. was almost as fun as shooting hogs out of a helicopter. Yep. Your phone was fine. You probably would have been fine to sit there. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Eventually, though, we did kind of cross the creek down there, so uh -huh. just keep walking, we'll get there. I guess that cedar is like right there to the right of us. Should we do one last walk up to the feeder or? Yeah. What what TJ say? This is ridiculous. Well, it can't have been that far. Maybe we walked past it. We couldn't really go up there to now this way. Look at this bridge. Blair Witch Project. It's which way? This way. Because that's where it's pointing, but we got curved on that little thing right there. It's pretty cool. Um, why the fuck is this here? I think we must be past. Here, this, I gotta uh, take a piss. Here, hold me it too. Real quick. Hold on. I'm trying to hold the gun here at the same time. <laughs> can you piss with no hands? <laughs> no, I can't. Where am I going to pee? Yeah, but I have nothing to hold my trunks with. Got the camera? That's your pee hand. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't touch it. <laughs> sure you did. I didn't. I swear. I swear. <laughs> I swear. Damn, we should have never walked and did that. So fucking dumb. This is how people get fucking lost in the fucking woods. I know, but we're lost. Yeah, I hear him. Yeah, so we must have walked past. There he is. Let's see it that way. Hook! Hooker! So obviously the road is right there. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, now he's <laughs> like far away. Oh, <laughs> uh, this this sucks. Cars, then the road is right here. Well, I saw his light and it came like up here and to the left. Now it's behind us again. Uh -huh. This is the path, yeah. Yeah, or the right to go to the feeder. Yeah, this is the path he just came down. We would have kept, oh, yeah. kept walking when we found him. We give up on the, on the feeder. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Let's go back. Hell All no. All right, so we failed. I'm too tired. I'm going to go find TJ and I'll be back. Skyler. This is how you get lost. No, like, for real. Because he's going to be out no. for a minute. Then. He's going to come back. His phone doesn't have service. Yeah, he's going to think we're out there. I'm just TJ! Gonna... Anyway, I guess I'm signing off then. Not a failed pork o'clock. Probably the worst poker clocker Texas I've ever seen. This is two days in a row now. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do something different tomorrow. Anyway, signing off. I blame Serge. <laughs> I had a good time. Yeah, it was, was fun. It was part. fun. It was fun. I'm just apologizing for us not, you know, eating any pork today either. This is embarrassing. Ah, all right. We had fun. Well, maybe we'll see that chupacabra. Maybe we'll see the chupacabra. All right, we're signing off. Hold on. You don't even know. We chased bucks that we had to follow the blood for like miles into the woods. Can you shine the light here? Hold on. Just shine it here. We went miles into the woods. Woo. Walker to the rescue.
rescue. Hey. So yeah, everybody gets lost on that creek. Fuck yeah. yeah. We got so the thing is, is, if you go that way too far, the creek splits and there's two creeks, and then you can get really lost. I was hoping y'all weren't over there. I don't know where we went. What are the chances then? We, if we'd kind of waited, you think we would have got something? Man, y'all could have been waiting for a very long time. The feeder never went off, huh? It did eventually, no, it did. like an hour late. Uh -huh. Okay, so... We saw four deer, though. Okay, four yeah. deer. But There's no a, a little spike no. had, had two on each side. Yeah, so y'all probably could have been waiting all night long. I mean, mm -hmm. who knows? Yeah. I mean, if there's no pattern to them. It was fun, though. Sorry, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Actually, uh, uh, the getting lost probably was the funnest. Part. <laughs> yeah. So that I'm gonna own all that like here in like less than a month. Uh, I wow. mean, it's under contract. I can, and the guy gave me permission. I can. It's already mine. I can go over there and stomp all around. And the guy that owned it before, he carved all these weird ass little trails through there. Like so, it in the dark. It's like a labyrinth over there. Like I've tracked dead animals over there in the night, and like it's taken me hours to find my way home. And it's Holy not shit. that big, yeah. but like you just keep turning and you're yeah, like, oh, I'm on this trail. And the next thing you know, it's like turning a circle and you're lost over there. We didn't do that many turns. <laughs> yeah. so, oh. All right, well, I, I'm just going to pull up here and park. Yeah. All right. Hello, dog. Hey, hold on. There's, can you just shine a light here? Oh, a, <laughs> of course, it's your property. Of course, there's like empty cartridges everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I used to shoot right here at that tree stump. Oh, okay. In fact, I set, that, I set that stump right up there and had a target on it about a year or so ago when me and you talked, and we were talking about you coming out and bringing Skylar to come shoot. Uh -huh. That was, I guess it was about a year ago. I don't remember, but I set mm -hmm. up a thing because I was like, I got, I don't have anywhere for anybody to like sight in their guns and get used to shooting shit. So I set that up, and then me and my brother-in-law just blew it to hell. I see. So, <laughs> I've shot a tree in half. I've sat there and shot it so many times. I shot Ooh. it in half. We're friends. We come in peace. Come on, come on, come on. 